Get out your knives and pitchforks, guys. Soap versus cream. The battle has begun. Coming up next. Soap versus cream. I've never used the tube before, so this is a first time for me. I've been a big fan of the soap, and it's always worked very, very well for me. But my recent experience with Parasso Wooden Spice Shaving Cream was absolutely fantastic, which got me very curious to see how the tubes perform in the green and the red and all the other ones as well. So starting with the green, green versus green, tub versus tube. Let's see how things go today. This is the older tub and I do have a newer tub as well. So there's really no difference between the two tubs. Somebody pointed out to me the new version or the one that says super formula is in fact different. I don't know. This one is brand new. I haven't touched this one yet. And, um, I have a little bit left in my old container here that I was going to use. So if there is a difference, I don't know yet. Maybe I'll have to compare them in the future, but for the sake of two words, super formula written down here on the new jar, if it is different, I haven't heard so. I haven't heard any chatter. I haven't read anything that tells me that these two products are different. But uh, if you do know that they're different, comment below and let me know. I suppose it wouldn't be beyond the realm of possibility that Parasso has changed the recipe, but I'm not sure. So if that's a test I need to do in the future, let me know. But if you do know for sure, let me know that as well down below. If you like the concept of this video, give the video a like. And if you want to see other battles, let me know that too. Soap versus cream. I'm going to bowl lather today. So I'm going to have my two bowls, Razor Rock ceramic bowls. Today's brushes will be the, the uh, Yaki Rainbow 26 and the Yaki Lucky Dice 26. So these have the same knots, different colors, but um, the performance should be the same. Trying to make everything as equal as possible. Today's razor is going to be the Razor Rock Game Changer 0.68 closed bar. Um, with a treat blade and with the vintage uh, 77 millimeter thick handle. So this is a handle that uh, I think they just released it. I'm not sure when it came out exactly. All I know is that uh, I saw it on their site last week and I had to pick one up. So there's a thick and a thin version of this vintage handle. It's inspired by one of the older razors and uh, very nice and short, exactly same height as the Merker 34C. If you, if you put it side by side, it is that length. Nice and thick, nice and heavy. Awesome, awesome handle. I do really like the dimensions of this handle and definitely the weight also. So it was only about $14 Canadian on sale. So I had to grab it right away. Also a thin version of this handle. I didn't buy that one. Not a fan of thin handles um, in particular, but this one really appealed to me. So I'll pick that one up. So once again, game changer 0.68, close bar with a treat blade is today's razor. So before I go off and make the lathers, I thought I would show you exactly how much of the tube I'm going to use. About that much I'm going to use of the tube and I'll load my brush to the normal amount and then I will lather both of them in the bowl today. Got a real good load on the Parasso soap. So the rainbow brush will be the, uh, the soap. So I'll lather that up here in a minute. So just wet my brush wet the bowl a little bit. And I like to keep my brush a little bit drier, especially when I bowl lather. So I'll squeeze out a little bit more water than normal. Um, I don't want any excessive slop coming out of the bowl and um, I can easily add more water to make up the difference. So just starting that. Lathering up the cream. It's easy to add water. It's harder to take it away. Have to add more product if you do that. I have no idea if I used enough cream or not enough cream as I've never done this before. Certainly seems to be whipping up a good lather. I think it needs some water. I'm gonna use my, give it a squirt and a half. Love the bottle. I say that in every video, but I really do. The bottles are awesome. Ooh. Looks pretty good so far. I'm gonna give it a little bit more water. It smells, Smells a little bit stronger to me than the soap, but very similar. Really no difference. This lather is awesome. I think that one's ready to go. Over to bowl number two. Just wet the bowl, 
soap, load it into the brush. This needs water pretty early. I don't bowl lather too often, but when I do bowl lather, I enjoy it. Maybe I should do it more. Let me know below. Would you guys prefer bowl lathering, face lathering, head lathering? I think this is going to be an interesting video. I never put two types of soap on my head before. Obviously, I've done the head-to-head -head battles with two different razors. But I never did two different soaps. So. I think volume wise, I ended up with maybe a little bit more out of the soap. Otherwise, very nice sheen to it now. Smell wise, I think the soap smells a little softer to me. This, the, the parasol smell is stronger coming out of the cream. So. Which is interesting. Yeah, for sure. The parasol smell is stronger in the cream. So, I'm actually gonna wet my head. All right, guys, two soaps on my head. So this is the soap. We're gonna go on this side of the head and the cream will go on this side of the head. And now we gotta make sure I'm going this a little bit blind. Gotta tell you, this is a little bit weird. But if it's weird, I wanna do it for you guys. So, what else is weird? I think these are questions we've all thought about. And maybe others have done this comparison too, but on the head, I don't think so. Hopefully this is the first. Like the video. Thank you. All right, I think that should be pretty good. That's relatively center. I think I crossed over a little bit. All right. Cream. The cream brush seems quite full. Yeah, I'm surprised the smell from the Parasso cream is stronger, like a good, you know, 20, 30% stronger. So that smell that we all love is stronger. I was not expecting that. Nice bonus, I guess. Load it up. Game changer 0 0.68, close bar, treat blade, second use of the blade, first pass with the grain. This handle feels really nice. It's quite small. I got rid of my 34C. So it's nice to have such a small handle back. The other Razor Rock razors have handles. The other Razor Rock razors have handles, you know, 82, 85 millimeter. I think the titanium halo is a hundred millimeter. Um, they're all really nice, but this one at 77 mil is quite good. Very nice. Good knurling, good grip. No surprises, guys. Parasso soap performing as expected. Very good. Familiar feeling. Nothing um, out of the ordinary here. All right. Cream side.
Hmm, not really perceiving any difference. One difference that is kind of coming out is I'm finding this, the cream has a little bit more slickness to it. But as far as blade feel and performance, it seems quite similar. Yeah, there is a slickness difference. So I did put two additional squirts of water in each one. Um, I'm not sure if that would have made a difference or not, but that that's the amount that I needed to get the look of the lather and the feel of the lather that I needed. But there is a slickness difference for sure. I am going to rinse up and we'll be back for the second pass. Pass number two. So if you guys have tried these out, let me know what you think. Uh, cream, cream side. Yeah, I got a fair amount of cream in the in the brush. And my perception is that it, it feels a little bit thicker than the soap. But I suppose that could be attributed to just differences in the lather as well. So, but they both feel um, you know, they have the same amount of sheen, and they seem to be quite equivalent. So, all right. Soap side, second pass across the grain. Feels very comfortable. No surprises with the soap. The Game Changer 0.68 is a bit of a milder razor, but it works very well. Uh, I'm quite, quite pleased with it. It's a nice, comfortable shave. Cream side, second pass, across the grain. You know, this time they felt pretty similar. Slickness feels similar. They're pretty, overall guys, it's pretty indistinguishable. So far the biggest difference has been the strength of the smell. Where the cream has come out on top. Which was surprising. Really wasn't expecting that. So if you're torn between the two, at the moment, it seems like there's really no difference. Slickness seems pretty similar now. Whew. Really nice. All right, guys, I'm gonna rinse up, be back for the third pass. Pass number three, soap side. Okay, cream side. Against the grain. Very comfortable. Really no surprises here. Nothing earth shattering. smooth. The Game Changers 0.68 is an excellent head shaver. It really is. It's not, actually it's not aggressive at all. It's easy to use, safe to use, and uh, does, a, does a really good job. It's not going to get beneath the skin at all or be have any level of aggression like a, 
like the BBS AS or the uh, Lupo 95 or the Game Changer 0.84. It just does a great job. And if you wanted to shave the next day, you probably could. It's not gonna be super, super close, but it'll give you really good BBS um, without any fuss. I've been quite pleased with it since I got it. I've used it several times. Whew. Yeah, really no difference between the cream and the soap as far as performance. I did perceive a little bit of slickness difference on the first pass, but that seemed to have equaled out in subsequent passes. All right, guys. I'm going to rinse up and then we'll do the beard cleanup. All right. Feels really good, nice and smooth. No problems whatsoever. Fantastic shave. So. Cream. Yeah, man. The smell, really stronger on the uh, on the cream. I'm not sure if that has to do with the age of my puck. It, it, it is definitely stronger, no question about it. Okay. Soap. No surprises. So it seems to me that it's, it's pretty much the same product. So it's whether you prefer the convenience of a tube or the convenience of the soap, it's really up to you. They both seem to perform exactly the same way. I don't perceive any difference. All right, so. Cream. Reverse pass. Very comfortable. Yeah, I'm really digging this light handle. I mean, this heavy, small handle. Very nice. Excellent job to Joe and the team at Razor Rock. All right, no difference in performance, guys. Seems exactly the same to me. I'm gonna rinse up and we'll do the post shave. All right, guys, post shave. Lucky Tiger, aftershave tonic, always my first coat. I also find it lubricates and wets your skin so you can use a little bit less aftershave as well. Wow. Excellent. Parasso Green. This stuff is awesome. I think we should start a petition and get Parasso to release this one in a clone. Or a really strong, long lasting formula. This is too good to just be an aftershave. Awesome. And then the bomb. This stuff is great. You can use it on its own or with the aftershave. When I, when I go Parasso Green, I go all in. I didn't use the pre-shave today. Uh, on purpose just to kind of test the soap to see if 
to see how they did on their own. So uh, my perception and my conclusion is that there really is no difference between them. You know, you just make your own choice based on preference, whether you prefer the soap or whether you prefer the, uh, the cream in a tube. I guess for traveling purposes and that sort of thing, it might be more convenient to uh, squirt a little bit of this in the to a container and take that with you as opposed to a soap. But uh, to me, no difference in performance. So if you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. See you in the next one. OJ out.